Holiness, the most venerable Dr. Kyuse Enchinjo, for his constant and noble efforts to build this magnificent conference hall. Mahanaikas and other members of the Buddhist order, Your Excellencies. Ladies and gentlemen, I am very happy to be in Hyogo Prefecture to attend the ceremonial opening of the Royal Grand Hall of Buddhism and participate in the Fifth World Buddhist Summit. <laughs> that there is a cause of suffering and the Buddha called this cause craving. He taught people how to let go of this craving and experience relief. The cessation of suffering must be emphasized as the key tool that the Buddhists can offer the world. We do this by teaching the Noble Eightfold Path. Mental and physical. This is the domain
it is a useful tool and it can be very private. And actually I've been doing that for the last 15 years. And I've been teaching it for the last 15 years. And I know for a fact that it works. And it works very fast and it works very well. When you follow the, the actual teaching, <coughs> the Lord, follow his words, not add anything, uh, no cultural aspects. Because it does what the Buddha's teaching, it has nothing to do with culture. It has to do with how mind works and how to have a balanced mind and be happy. When I first came was how can you help Buddhism to grow? And I gave him one word. I said, joy. Join? Joy. J-O-Y. Joy. Yes. Here. Yes. When your mind gets heavy and you don't have any joy, that's when you get into trouble. <laughs> so the more we can practice the things that make your mind uplifted and happy, then we become an example for other people. And be through that example, we're teaching Buddhism for real. And that's, that's what I see starting to happen little by little now. Uh, I've been teaching this for 15 years and now it's finally starting to catch on. <laughs> So when and now uh, they're starting to come around and say, I like what you're teaching. So what, what I'm trying to do is show to be a teacher by example mm -hmm. rather than a teacher by word. Uh -huh. And it, it is starting to happen and, and it's very exciting to see neighbors starting to like coming around and, and helping with what we're doing. to realize the meaning of the word jhana. Jhana has a deeper meaning than what is currently being used. In the suttas, according to the Buddha, the word jhana means a level or stage of understanding. Not concentration. Understanding. Understanding what? 
understanding through your insights how the process of dependent origination and the Four Noble Truths actually occur.